Welcome back everybody. Today I thought we'd do a little taste test. Uh, my local Central Texas store or get my beef steaks. They sell both prime and what they call a natural beef which is a beef that doesn't have any hormones or uh, additives, uh, steroids, you know, stuff like that. It's just natural, almost I guess like organic beef, if you can call it that. Um, problem is, they didn't have any more slabs to cut me some of the hormone free meat, the natural meat. Uh, so I had to opt and get one of the thinner cuts that they already had cut. It's about an inch and a quarter, I'd say. And uh, the prime, which is here, is an inch and three quarter. So this, this is going to take a little longer to cook, I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, but we'll see. So anyway, the thinner one is the natural thicker one is the prime. They're both ribeyes. They both look great. Um, you know, nice marbling. In fact, this one looks pretty similar. Nice marbling on it. Nice flat, uh, nice fat all around here on both of them. So what I'm going to do is season these bad boys up and let them kind of sit here and get a little bit of this flavor in them. And while they're sitting here, I'm going to fire my grill up and let it start getting hot and I'm using this uh, what do you call it Robert Rothschild's farm chop house steak and beef rub uh, I've used this before and, and I like it pretty good and at the end of this exercise we're gonna check the steaks out and See which one actually has a better flavor. If memory serves, the natural one does have a better flavor, but it is not as tender. So again, we'll see. I got both these today, um, and we'll we'll check them out. The uh, the prime is going for seventeen ninety eight a pound, I think, and the the natural is going for I think thirteen forty eight a pound uh, at today's rate so I'll be back after I get the grill going and when I'm ready to put these on welcome back everybody alright let's do this uh, steak taste test comparison I guess you could say uh, again with prime and with um, a hormone free natural beef so let's put them on the grill and see what comes out I'm just going to stick this thicker one on for right now, and I'm going to give that a couple of minutes before I stick this thinner one on. So I'll be right back. All right, it has been a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to stick the natural one on. And uh, I'm thinking the thinner one's probably going to take about five, five minutes, six, maybe six minutes total. And uh, the thicker one, the prime, is probably going to be seven or eight minutes total. All right, let's turn these a quarter turn. And let them go a little bit longer. All right, it's time to turn these bad boys. Let's see what we got. There you go, looking pretty good. Like this one. Nice. All right, now, as I told y'all on the previous steak video I did, Prime has a lot of uh, uh, marbling in it, so that fat's gonna drip down there, kinda like chicken would when you're cooking a skin chicken, or chicken with skin on it. So, I need to move this a little bit. Do that. And this one's almost ready to turn a little bit. Give it a couple more minutes. I'm gonna shut the lid and let this All right, go. the flame is out now, and it's time to turn these a quarter turn. And I did turn the heat down on this side just a little bit to try to remedy that. So we'll see if it takes a little longer to cook because of that. They're looking good so far though. Alright, this little thin one, natural one's been on right about 10 minutes. I'm sorry, 
not 10 minutes, about six minutes, and uh, it's, it's ready to come off. I think that's uh, about a medium, maybe a medium well. So I'll let this uh, thicker one go a little bit longer, and we'll check on it here shortly. All right, this one is flaming up some more. So what I'm going to do is flip it onto this side. Let it finish cooking over here. This this side of my grill is a little cooler, even on high, than this side. So we'll let it finish cooking on this side. It doesn't have very much longer to go. All right, this one has been on about eight minutes. So let's check it out. Nice. All right, I'm gonna pull this one off. I'll show you what they look like when I plate them up. All right, everybody, we're gonna cut these up and see what we got. First of all, let's do the natural steak. Still got a little bit of pink in there, but I probably overcooked it just a tad. I don't know, it looks pretty good. So you can see that. Still juicy. Now let's try try the prime one here. Let's see what this one looks like. There you go. Nice and juicy too. And now for the taste test. Eh, I'm going to do the natural one first. Here's the natural one again. See? And again, side by side here for you. There you go. Natural and prime. Good looking stuff. All right, let's see what they look like. There we go. Tell you what, let me raise this up just a little bit so y'all can actually see me. There we go. Now we're talking. There we go. Natural. Really good flavor. Not that tender though, but again, that may be because it's thin. Let's try the prime here. Hmm. It is more tender, but it's not as flavorful. And they both have the same seasonings on them. That prime sure is tender though. They're both great. Yeah, the natural one, it's got a bit of flavor. Go figure. Anyway, I'm going to chow down, so appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to catch some, some uh, pictures for you here. We'll show at the end, and I will see y'all next time. Again, thanks for watching.